I'm Erin McDonald, and welcome to Health Monitor TV. Trying to eat healthy can be a challenge. So many choices, so little time. Well, today we're going to try to narrow it down for you. How? By taking a look at the top eight superfoods that belong on everybody's shopping list. Keep them front and center. When you put them in the fridge, make sure they're eye level. That way, they'll be the first thing you see and easy to grab. Do that, and we promise you, you'll be eating healthy, no problem. So let's get started. Tomatoes come in at number eight. And why are they so healthy? Let's have a look. For starters, tomatoes are rich in the antioxidant lycopene, which is actually better absorbed when the tomato is cooked in a little bit of healthy fat like olive oil. How to buy them? Well, when it's tomato season, buy fresh tomatoes and store them on the counter, never in the refrigerator, which turns them mushy. Out of season, opt for canned tomatoes. What to look for when buying tomatoes? Make sure they're firm to the touch, never wrinkled or mushy. If you buy them from the farmer's market, ask for tastes of different tomatoes so you can see which ones you like the most. What's a great way to eat them? For an interesting serving idea, try pan roasting great tomatoes with a little bit of olive oil. It's easy and delicious. You'll love this one. Number seven is dark chocolate. That's right, chocolate. Dark chocolate is rich in flavanols, antioxidants that promote healthy blood vessel function and a healthy heart. And believe it or not, they actually also help lower blood sugar. Of course, dark chocolate is still chocolate, so you don't want to overdo it. Try limiting it to no more than one ounce a day. That's about a square or so. Pick the darkest chocolate you can stand and let it melt slowly in your mouth. You'll get the most satisfaction that way. Number six is one of my personal favorites, black beans. These tasty beans are high in fiber and protein, both of which help keep you fuller for longer, which makes it easier to lose weight and maintain your weight. Beans can also help stabilize blood sugar levels, so they're great if you have diabetes. Add black beans to soups, chili, and stews. Puree it with some garlic, yogurt, and cumin for a tasty dip or a sandwich spread. I love to make a southwestern salad with greens, fresh corn, baby tomatoes, chopped onion, fresh cilantro, lemon juice, and ground cumin. It's so zesty and satisfying. Kale is our number five superfood. This green has it all. It's rich in nutrients like iron, calcium, and immune-boosting antioxidants. Plus, it's chock full of fiber. When you buy it, I definitely recommend going for organic kale because it is one of the dirty dozen fruits and vegetables that have the highest pesticide residue. Now, when you get it home, you can use it as a salad. Just toss it with a little olive oil and lemon juice, maybe sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese on there, or you can add it to soups and stews, or steam it if you like uh, spinach, it's just a great spinach replacer. Lately, kale chips have become very popular, but don't buy the packaged kind in the supermarket. They're full of fat. Make your own. It's a breeze once you learn the trick. Here's what you do. Just wash and dry your kale and remove the center rib. Place kale pieces on a baking sheet that's been coated with some cooking spray. Place it in a low oven. That's right, I said a low oven, around 250 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes or until they're crispy. The mistake most people make is putting it into a high temperature, which just burns the kale. When you take it out of the oven, sprinkle it with some Parmesan cheese or some fresh lemon juice. Delicious. Number four is walnuts. Walnuts are great because they're loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3s help lower your cholesterol, reduce inflammation in the body, boost your immunity, and even help guard against cancer. But you want to eat just a handful because they have a lot of calories. You can stir them into your yogurt or cereal, or toast them and toss them into a healthy pancake batter or banana bread recipe. Now, one of my other favorite omega-3 rich seeds is chia seeds. You can buy them at the regular supermarket or the health food market. They're also rich in fiber, high protein, and they can be used in place of walnuts in almost any recipe. So try them both out, but walnuts loaded with those omega-3 fatty acids, really good for being anti-inflammatory. Number three is yogurt. Yogurt is awesome because it's a great source of protein and both